How much vitamin D do you make when you're actually outside? There are some specific conditions you need to think about, and they are what I call the D determinants. Number one is your latitude. How far from the equator are you? If you live north of a line between Los Angeles and Atlanta, for most of the winter, you cannot make vitamin D at all. The second D determinant is your elevation. When you're at higher elevations, the atmosphere itself is thinner. Thinner air will allow more UVB radiation to reach the earth, and that's how you make more vitamin D. The next D determinant is the time of day because you don't make vitamin D all day long. You only make it when the sun is high enough in the sky for the specific UVB radiation to penetrate the atmosphere to reach you to make vitamin D. In the summer, you'll make vitamin D for many more hours in the Northern Hemisphere. If you live near the equator, that window is narrow. The next D determinant is the clarity of the sky. Obviously, if it's completely cloudy, you are not gonna make any vitamin D. All of the UVB radiation will be filtered. But if you live somewhere that has a lot of smog, you're not gonna be able to get the same amount of UVB radiation. If you take a look at the sky in Wuhan, China, you'll see that we're literally undergoing another industrial revolution and the pollution itself is blocking the UVB radiation from reaching the earth. The next D determinant is the amount of skin exposed. When you go for a walk with your dog and you're wearing clothing, all that you have exposed is your face and maybe your hands. If you are going outside for 10 or 15 minutes, you wanna expose as much of your body as legally possible. The last D determinant is skin tone. Darker skin needs more time in the sun to make the same amount of vitamin D. If you have very pale skin, you will make vitamin D very quickly because you have very little melanin. If you have dark skin, you have a lot of melanin, which is mother nature's sunscreen, you will need to be in the sun a lot longer to make the same amount of vitamin D. How do we make vitamin D when we go out in the sun? Well, the answer is kind of interesting because cholesterol is actually the precursor to vitamin D. Most of your skin is loaded with cholesterol and cholesterol is a good thing. When the energy of the sun in very specific wavelengths strikes a molecule of cholesterol in your skin, it breaks one chemical bond and transforms cholesterol into vitamin D. This is a messenger molecule that's so detailed and specifically designed to keep you healthy that it's kind of funny that it comes from cholesterol, which has been so vilified by Big Pharma and by our doctors. Cholesterol is what holds your cell membranes together.